follow. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. God, time is it? Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.40 a.m. Oh, I've been working since 8 a.m. I don't feel like working no more. Baby, you wanna go out to eat? Sure. Alexa, turn my lights off. Okay. Yeah. What's up, y'all? So I know y'all could get valet, you know what I'm saying? You can go out to eat, get valet. That's cute. But can you do it anytime you want to? You dig what I'm saying? He about to open the door for you, baby. <laughs> Good, how are you? See y'all, I know y'all can go eat out wherever you please, right? But the question is, do you get paid for it? Do you get paid to live this lifestyle you wanna live? Cause I do. This meal is about to cost me about $200. I'm gonna get it back. That's the whole point. Get that check and get it right back. I need that. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Ah, let's taste the steak. Mm. Oh, look at that. You can just dive right in. Let me uh, dip it over in. I'm gonna dip it over in. Mm. 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 Now let's not get anything misconstrued. Before I did any of that, I had to wake up early. I had to read a book to make sure I get my mind ready for the day. I had to meditate. I had to work out. I had to make sure I was prepared for the day also so I could prepare for my night when I live stream for y'all as well. Y'all listen, I'm not going to keep you long, but I want you to know that I'm starting Crown Creators Academy March 17th. That is the day that your lives can change. I just need you to sign up and hear me out. You dig what I'm saying? All I need is you. All I need is you. I got enough up here to supply you with whatever it is you need. Just give me a chance. I love y'all, man. See y'all March 17th. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? What the goddamn hell y'all leave? So this is King's video, the my response about co-parenting. Um, y'all make sure y'all tap into uh, Crown Creators Academy. It is dropping this Friday. Yeah, dig. Tap in. I'm going to teach y'all everything you need to know. You dig know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get into it. Let's see what the what, what, what King got going on. This right here comes in my purse. It ain't my purse. It's my purse. But um, yeah, I want to come on here right now because I know a little a little situation that I had happened on on the shade room, and you know me made a whole um paragraph on it, speaking on and saying what I um what I was saying. But I think in general, just me coming and make a video about it, you can hear my tempo and you can hear my voice on it, and just know how like where I'm standing as a man, a grown man of this situation. Um, I want to start with first when it comes to it, I feel like the delivery of how Neek actually like said what she had said and the way she said it. I think like off camera, like behind closed doors, like it's already bad enough for like I deal with a lot when it comes to like her when it comes to parenting like when it comes to co-parenting like it's like it's a real scramble because it's like just one person want to be stuck in these type of ways and say bitterness and say this that and the third one is like like me moving forward and I'm thinking the best like the best part for my kid like my son I'm best interest in heart for him like that's all I'm worrying about like all that bullshit all the past tense shit that's bullshit I'm worrying about him because at the end of the day we brought him into this world like moving forward like I want to make sure he got the best for him you know what I'm saying so I think in general like when she made her video and she said what she said I feel like honestly like she know like how brainwashed her fans and supporter is behind her and the things that she say you know what I'm saying y'all I had a couple y'all come for me and I'm gonna tell you right now I don't give a damn friend I said what I said and I feel how I feel but anyhow I digress and I think I made a video not too long ago which was like I think a week ago and I said typically like Kaiser school He's with me for the weekend, and Kaiser goes with his mom for the week, and that's it. So y'all saying that's, he made a video first, or he said something first about it? Okay. The difference between him and her, and how it was said, Neek said, because <laughs> child, um, apparently I'm the only one who could take him to school, as if that wasn't shade. I mean, because... <laughs> Obviously, I'm the only one who can. <laughs> like, stop. She's antagonizing this man, and y'all know it. 
that was basically it. Like I didn't say the most or say that I wasn't capable of not bringing him, but I wanted really want to put detail into this. Into yeah, that this. he wasn't capable. It's because it's like, say one thing and you make it seem like this and it's not even just that. When I came up with the plan of him going to your house and be for a week at school because it's like, it's the best for him because it makes more sense instead of him moving backwards and forth because I want stability for our kid. I want him to be comfortable going to school, waking up and have a, a set schedule because when he comes to my house, there is rules at my house, which is probably no rules at her house because Kaiser do whatever he want to do when he's over there. Like everybody calls me when it's time to and nobody can't say that's a lie when it's time for Kaiser to be disciplined or something or. Like I said, Nick probably be like, do it again. I'm going to call you daddy. Sound like Neek can't control that child, okay? So daddy got to control it. And she ain't controlling it because she let him do what the fuck he want. Then it's too late. You done already let him jump on that, that bed. So now you want him to stop. That's not how that work. I bet she be saying, I bet you don't do that at your daddy house. And he probably don't. But he don't have that rapport with you because you like to play with him. So he going to play with you. But then you want to, King, uh, Kaiser over here not listening. <laughs> Fuck. Don't, not, don't call me when you want me to discipline them, but want to throw me under the bus on the internet. Listening, everybody calls me. So I'm not a father that never, like, that's not in my kid's life that you have to look for me. You have to call me or contact me or look for me for any situation when it comes to my son. Because, like, I love my son. Like, I love my son to death. Like, I, he, I give, like... To, like I give my whole self to him and it was already agreed and cool for that to be a situation because I was already bringing our kid to school within a like in a year format the year of it I was already bringing Kaiser to school backwards and forward the school is too far actually to be honest with y'all Kaiser original school his first school which is not even a school it's a daycare his first daycare school that he was going to was on the same side that I'm still living on the, the way I was looking for homes and houses I looked for homes and houses revolving around my kids school and I was evolving right just being in this area that I'm still in she took the choice to move to the other side of Houston and put his school well she was driving from her other side of the house to over here and it was like it was too far which it is it takes an hour to get to Houston and it takes an hour to get back don't let it be traffic because that's an extra 15 30 minutes on top of that to for cars to move so it'd be like an hour it'd be two hours and some minutes to go there to bring him in the morning pick him up in the morning then you got to go back in the afternoon so that's four hours of your day if you really do the math of picking a you know picking a kid up from a whole right. different side of the city mm -hmm. so going into that it was like vice versa she moved his school closer to hers his school is literally like 15 20 minutes the max 25 minutes the max is what he, how far his school is and that's not that bad because in, in houston it's all about light turns turns and this down the third but for me i was doing that with no problem for a year plus like straight it's been okay so i see what people are saying when they said um that Neek was doing it in the beginning, and apparently she wasn't complaining. So now she done moved to her side, and basically now he's complaining. Okay, I'm going to keep listening. It's been like three years already. I've been doing it pretty much for a year or so. It was like bringing him to school, he wanted picking him, to him stay up, at the bringing same him to school, school picking like. him up. And it wasn't no problem for me until... It started to be like, hey, bro, like it's like gas money. It's like it's a lot, bro. It's a lot because nobody didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. She when she was living downtown, she didn't want to come way back here to pick him up, bring him to school because it was too far and it made sense. So the same thing for me. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, can you move his school? I asked her plenty of times. Can you move his school closer in the middle? We already have a spot where we meet each other in the middle at. Like we meet in the middle to drop him off, or sometimes I bring him all the way to her crib, or she come way over here to pick him up, or whatever the case may be. But like in general, like I asked her plenty of times to move his school closer because she have all his information. Like she have everything I can like, you know what I'm saying? She have all his information. You know what I'm saying? I asked her mom, whatever the case to get his information. She told me she was gonna give it to me. That's cool beans. But to this day, I still don't have it, which is not a problem for me to get it. But still, like I don't. Not a problem for you to get it. And I was sure waiting on him to say that. So men need to learn to get their kids information. Point blank, period. I don't know if it's possible. Well, it gotta be possible for you to have two social security cards not with two social security numbers but you could tell them you lost the social security card boom you got the social security card or at least you get the social security card number so for him to say he's able to get the information then you need to get the information i'm absolutely an advocate for that because 
I'm not about to give you the social security card that I got. So you can like, you know, God forbid you lose it. You know what I'm saying? I give you a social security card, you lose it, don't know where it's at, da da da. Or I give you the birth certificate, you lose it, don't nah. I think both parents should have copies of each uh, of their child's records of everything that they need. Both parents need that shit, period. And most of the time, the men don't want to get it. So I was just wondering if he was going to say that he could or couldn't get it. Get it. He said, ain't no problem. He could get it. No, you need to go get it then. Have the information for me to even transfer his school to the medical both of us. Or You're going to have to go to get your own information. Closer to me. That actually was a, a situation as well, too. I'm just saying, like, I'd rather, you know, his school be to me. And you get him like this so he can be you know stable like it's not good for a kid to go home to home house to house and it's like my rules are different and he go to a bed at a certain time you know what i'm saying like kaza like we I, like i do for my kid like I, we just raise different and i just handle things different on my end and i just think in general it was like said and how we be backwards and forward like off camera shit it's like yes bro like co-parent for us to be honest with y'all bro it's it's not it's not it's not bro it's been like three years off and on you know what i'm saying i pick up a lot of slack that i don't get credit for you know what i'm saying when it comes to like me having my kid or taking my kid to somewhere that i i'm not okay with it's like i just get next thing men always look for credit when raising these kids stop looking for credit <laughs> You got to stop looking for credit. Like, you ain't even say I got them. I ain't supposed to say that because what the fuck I'm doing over here, nigga? Like, what you're doing at your house and what I'm doing at my house, obviously, we both doing some shit. Like, kids are a lot. Obviously, I didn't know until I got kids. But I'm not telling you what to do over there. You definitely can't tell me what to do over here. And I'm definitely not giving you credit for what you're doing over there because I don't give a fuck. Definitely ain't asking you for credit. I will say that's the difference between men and women. Men be wanting credit for whatever it is they do. You don't need credit. Women don't need credit. Just do what the fuck you supposed to do. And she need to do what she's supposed to do, period. It, the bad end of the stick when it comes to this situation because she could easily go on the internet and say this and say that and all her brainwashed fan base is going to be like this. But it's like, like, I'm tired. I even told her multiple times too, like, don't speak on me on no videos for like a year plus, two years back. Like, just don't do no videos. In his defense, she do need to stop speaking on him. Obviously, she ain't gonna talking about me no Q and A because there's a lot of people that just be antagonizing me and coming at me when I'm moving forward in my life, especially for my family, with my daughter, with my girl, even with my son. And it's like I have a kid, I have two kids that I have two kids at this point. So it's like my mind frame has very really much switched when it comes to my son and when it comes to my daughter and just slick things off camera of her saying, speaking on my daughter and speaking on this and speaking on that. It's just like. You have no place for that. And I know this person. Like, i been with this person and, you know what I'm saying, had a kid with this person. So I actually know how this person operate and operate and how they move and stuff like that. Like, I'm always, I'm only on. Nick absolutely don't need to be speaking on his motherfucking daughter. No, ma'am. We won't be doing that at all. Nick, shut up. We won't be doing that at all. Okay? Yeah, uh. Don't say shit about my daughter. <laughs> on the shade room, <laughs> no. bro, again, post it I'm about talking, something no. negative when she is bringing me into the shade That'd room. That'd be a quick problem. Q and A or making it seem like that when it's like I already said once before, like don't make no videos about me, don't talk about me because life moves on, and it's like I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that at all. When the only time I speak on some bro is I'm getting spoken about, and I have to defend myself, and I have to say because it's like. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And it's just like people be trying to just make it bash me. Like I'm just a bad person, a bad person when like, come on now, like everybody see or know how I feel about my, like my kid. Anybody in person that ran across me and see how I operate you with my kids is just like, it's just, that's how I am as a person. Oh, so I feel like when you try to destroy my character and make it one, seem one, one, like I'm check. just this person when I have multiple conversations and I know genuinely though how I be talking to you and then like disrespectful of you calling me all my name and calling me this and calling me that when I'm being an adult about the situation. So sometimes I have to go to the side and speak to a, a person that's, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to, I'm really not trying to like go too into depth because I don't want to like, you know, like, like make it a big issue and put people into this and what I'm saying this, but I have like, I, like co-parent for me to honestly, I genuinely, and anybody who see this and know, I feel like the best co-parent skills for me is to be like talking to her mom because that's the, the older person and like, it's just like her, me, then it's her. Like she acting like a kid and it's like certain things that I just don't be, I just don't be want to deal with because I have my own life going on. I have my own situations that I be going through and going with. So I don't have that extraness that 
I don't be uh, like dealing with. And even too, like I get talked to crazy, treated like this, then a third. I like make a passport without my consent of bringing my kids somewhere that I told you a year ago when you asked me like, hey, is it cool? And I told you. Making a passport without my consent is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I maybe just how he worded that, but nah, that child, if my child, if I'm going to Germany or Greece or whatever, and it's my week, I'm taking my child. <laughs> if I get the saying, can you watch him every time, then it'll be a problem. So, my nigga live in Greece. So I got to go to Greece. You know what I'm saying? So my child is coming to Greece. That ain't really no discussion. But nigga, you have to have the other parent consent. It's law. It's law when you're up under the law. So it ain't law until it's in black and white and you dealing with the law, friend. They ain't took each other to court. If they go to court right now and say something that she did three months ago, the court's going to say, I don't give a fuck about three months ago. We're talking about right now. <laughs> so after you get on this paperwork, you can't do whatever the fuck you did three months ago. But whatever you did three months ago, I can't do shit about that. When you're not up under the law, they can't, you can't, it, it ain't no law until you're taking the court. Nobody's taking anybody to court. So she can do whatever the fuck she want to do, to be honest. Why? Because a cadre do not listen to him nobody too? on that side. So if you take him out the country and, like, God forbid or anything, he not listening to y'all and this, that, and thing, and anything was to happen, like, I can't get on a 10-hour, 13-hour flight to go get my kid versus if you in the States, because everything I do with my kid, I take him in the States. So it's like the most of an hour trip or four-hour trip to get on a flight, that's not far versus 10 hours, 13 hours getting on some, getting on a trip and you know something is going on with the child and I got to hurry up and rush. In the state of Georgia, uh -huh, let me get into this shit with y'all and let y'all know, baby. One, one, one in the chat. In the state of Georgia, if, first of all, the fathers have to, um, what you call that shit? Um, they basically have to get paternity tested after the baby's come and shit, uh, just to make sure that they're the father, then they can have that, uh, I guess the consent of saying, all right, he's the father. So he has these rules and these laws and shit for the birth certificate, all that. I can't word it correctly right now. Cause I'm, you know, but basically after the, the, the woman had a child, that's when the man do all that other shit after she had the baby. Okay. Baby, what the fuck is the shit called? <laughs> she, honey, child, is she up? Yeah. What's what? Can you come here? I just have one question. Will you sleep? It's a word, y'all. She probably was asleep. You asleep? I'm so sorry. You, you ain't gonna be able to answer me. What's what's the word then after you after the women have the child? In Georgia, what's the word that the man has to do? Legitimize. I ain't going to call you no more. The man has to legitimize the child. So when he has to legitimize her, that comes with paternity test, birth certificate, blah, blah, blah. If in the state of Georgia, he don't legitimize that child after all that, she's a single mom and can do whatever the fuck she want in the state of Georgia. So without legitimizing that child, you legally can't even do shit. Nothing. It's like you don't even fucking matter in the state of Georgia. So if we wanted to move, we could. If she wanted to do whatever, she could. Until he decided to legitimize the child. So yes, in the state of Georgia, the man, if, if he in fact is the father, it don't even fucking matter. Until he does all his proper proceedings after she had a child. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard of in my life. I couldn't believe that, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, 
in in most states, oh, the woman can do whatever the fuck she want to do until do this the laws. So it's like I just I'm not respected. I I, I tell her that and mm -mm. I say this. I don't feel respected in this situation. And every time I I say something, I be the bigger person. It's like you know I get this part behind closed doors, and then it's like I wake up. Sally is I don't. It's not like that in Georgia. So I looked up all the laws in Georgia because, like I said, we're co-parenting over here, and he has to go legitimize her to do anything literally and it's a process for legitimize legitimization so yeah the shit crazy and then if in fact he tries to legitimize the child and the and the mother doesn't give consent right so he in the process of trying to legitimize and then the mother like go against the grain then he can take her to court basically and legally it'll probably go in his favor if she's not trying to work with him it's a lot but yeah in the morning three months two months down the line i see something else about me on the media with the same situation of the same person and i've been said offline like hey like leave me a, like don't say no videos about me none of that stuff we see each other in person so it's like it just be it just be it's just not right because if we trying to co-parent and like we trying to co-parent and we trying to like be this for this person, like the only thing for me, it's the best interest for him. No matter what the situation is, I don't care. I want what's best for Kaiser, bro. Cause I want Kaiser to learn the daycare that she have him at. He's not even learning there. Like I call her and tell her about things that he's watching, or I tell him about the things that he's learning on her side that he's not picking up from well, me. Well, I don't okay. show him how to flip middle fingers. I don't show him like curse words and this, that, and the third. And, all those things because a kid is a kid. I don't treat my son like he's 12 years old because he's not 12. You know what I'm saying? I ask my son how to spell this, how to spell that, or how to do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just putting it out there like that, but you know what I'm saying? He have trouble with that, but it's like, that's the problem versus knowing what this about and what's this or how to do this and how to do that. And I be want to make sure that he's smart, bro. Cause my son got too much like intelligence, bro. He's too smart and too advanced for his age to say he's four years old. And I want him to have the best I want him to be the best version of himself, even when he... I think this is like a vicariously, you know, we vicariously try to live through our children. And that's just not a good thing. Because like I said, whatever going at your house, it ain't going on in mine. So Kaiser is who I need to be talking to. When you get over here, don't play with me. I'm your daddy, boy. I knock you out. You know what I'm saying? When you get in my house, you already know. You ain't jumping on no bed. You already know you're going to sleep at 8 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? So, period. He get older and know who he is as a man and me as a father and a man you know what i'm saying i have to install that into him i want him to be better than me i want him to be have this you know he's in a blessed position to even have his mom and his dad that start there so i feel he like, too, like nobody never have to look for me when you call my phone i'm always answering when it's time to discipline cause or come through woo, 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 like i'm there like it's never a situation or time when nobody have to look for me or say that i don't do for my kid that i do for the other just like there's this thing that's going on that I'm about to like, I don't want that to be a problem since I have a daughter and I have another kid. Like I'm caring much about one than I'm caring about the other. I love my kids equally. My mama say that. Like my mama got three kids and I heard my mama say that multiple times and I understand and I feel that now. Like I have two kids that I love equally. If I have, when I have more kids or anything, I'm going to love them equally. Kaiser is my oldest son. I have to teach him how to be the oldest. I have a daughter. She the second to the oldest. That's who have help me more kids I have after that. I still have to install and teach them certain things because I want them to love and be for each other. I don't have time for like the negativity and the, narr the negative narratives that I'm always posting on the shade room when it comes to somebody speaking on me. So I want to say this publicly. I don't care how nobody feel about it or anything. And just being honest, like I don't want to be spoke about on anybody's video. I don't want no Q and A's because people could ask me when I put Q and A's, people say a lot of things about how about this person? How about this person? I choose on what I want to talk about before I post the video. I choose on what I want to cut out and keep in a video before I post it. So it's like you doing. Like a lot of y'all saying he sound bitter. I ain't gonna lie. Nick be sounding way more bitter than him. Because she always bring the nigga up. Come on, y'all. <laughs> like. If he ain't talking about her, sound like he's moved on. You got a whole man. Plays basketball. For a living girl i would be talking about him all the time why do we keep talking about him you know what i'm saying 
Mm. In this move, going in the backhand, like a lot me, of women are phone, saying he sounds bitter. We'll be no, talking about she the does. Bullshit that we go through in the argument. Listen, and the fuss. you have aggression and you have passive aggression, and people think when you passive aggressive, that it ain't aggressive. So her little shady, like, um, since I'm the only one capable to be able to pick him up from school. That's passive aggression. Just because she didn't say, yeah, bitch, because I'm the only one who capable to bring him to school. It's no different. You're saying the same thing with aggression, loud or passively. Passive aggression, I feel like, is way more detrimental than aggression. Like loud aggression, rather. Y'all, she be, she be throwing shade, and y'all know it. And you just like King and shut the fuck up. None of the, I don't talk to none of these people. Nobody. I fuck with him. He all right with me. He ain't did shit to me. But I'm not friends with none of them. <laughs> I don't understand. Listen in all this down the third is like, like you sent our kid back from where he was at for a week with you, with your mom, and told me an hour before he land to pick him up. My life is like nobody is considerate. Now that's crazy. Excuse me, what? Third is like, like you sent our kid back from where he was at for a week with you, with your mom, and told me an hour before he land to pick him up. My life is like nobody is considerate of my life. No, ma'am. And y'all talking about he's so wrong. Are you fucking serious? Oh, girl. <laughs> and it's like, what can you do? Because I'm not going to keep my child at the airport. So now I got to stop everything I'm doing. Man, that's some disrespectful shit right there. Life on, I have a life too. Like Ooh, I can't just move, skip by when you tell me to because you have to like communicate. You no, know, it's no communication. Communication skills are very weak and it's co-parenting. I say this a lot of times. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like I even told, you know, her mom, like I appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying? How y'all care about my son, how y'all love for my son and stuff. Like, I really feel like it's best for me to just cut communications with her, not talk to her and just talk to her, her mom because at the end of the day, I want to talk to the person who got the best interest for our kid life and who got the best interest for that. I don't want to talk about the bullshit about the past or what's going on or how it is or this, then, and third. Like, I'm not stuck. She's the bitter one. So you telling me she's still talking to him about the past? Which makes sense because she keep bringing him up in her videos. Which means she's not over him, y'all. Sorry. Not sorry. Yeah, you just need to research for I don't need to research shit. This is loud and clear. King may have a lot of words to say and not enough come out. But I can hit through what the fuck he's saying right now. You inconsiderate of my time. You keep bringing up the past every time I, me and you got to meet. And then you being rude with it. No, ma'am. Let me just meet with your mother. Please give me a, 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 a reasonable time to come pick up my child. Because ain't no telling what the hell I'm doing. Like, ooh, that would have me hot. Yeah, your son going to be there in an hour. Child, I'd have been so pissed. I'm stuck on it. I'm moving on with my life. And I'm like becoming a man. I'm trying to grow as a person. And I, I can't keep doing this and keep doing this. And people fucking up and throwing dirt on me when I'm not even on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just really want to, like, clear that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love my son. My son going to probably see all this when he get old. And I just want him to know the person that he see with me. He with me every time. The person, the person that I give him. And I don't have to post my kid and show y'all that he with me. Or do this or do that to make sure, like... Y'all know he with me type shit. Like, I don't have to do that because I have a genuine bond with my son. I love my son. That's my son. Like, that's my firstborn son. Like, that's my little boy. Like, I want him to feel me, be me, like, be better than me type shit. So, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't be settling for that. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to come on here and really just speak on that. Like, when it comes to his school, because he's not in school, he's in daycare. And I took that how I took it because I know you. I know how you, I know how you went about that. And you say certain things and you let your fans come my way and this then a third it's enough it's enough you know what i'm saying it's like a lot of false accusations a lot of false things i would have been i would i would be the cease and desist king in this motherfucker boy i would have sent her a cease and desist real quick don't say shit else about me lady and i would have taken my ass he too need to take himself to court Unfortunately, some of y'all women be asking for that shit.
<laughs> Y'all really do. Uh uh-uh. uh. And in the court proceedings, it would say, don't speak on him. God damn, how the fuck we gonna co parent? Every time I turn around, you getting views and shit off me. Leave me the fuck alone. Pictures be said and played and twisted and manipulated. And I'm like, I'm not trying to be like, I, I, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that. I'm not a female to even play those type of games. I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. So. See, I'm just, this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Wrong me, uncut me, I just can't do this no more. And I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm not sorry, I'm tired of it. I'm tired. I just, whatever it is, don't speak about me. Don't do no videos about me. You can say whatever you feel. Don't do no videos about me. Don't speak on me. No Q&As about me. Don't hop in no videos, no friends. Acting like talking about none of that. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. I'd rather just talk to your mom and have me and her with our kid. Until further notice, you know what I'm saying? I'm a great father and I don't want you to like, try to tear me down for that. I feel like you be trying to do that on certain things. And my kid gonna get over there and see this and I want him to see the best of me, not the, not the worst. Period. So I'm gonna just leave that how that is. But nah, he really said that. come on here and say that because- I ain't gonna lie. King, King he do. He, he, he say a lot of words um, with what he say that, that, could, could, that could use less words. But this is the clearest I've ever heard him speak. <laughs> He's sick of this shit. <laughs> Bitch, leave me alone. Listen, I want to get my child. I want to make sure I take care of him and I need to do what I need to do and you leave me the fuck alone. That's what I heard. <laughs> That's all I heard. Listen, I'm a good man. I take care of my motherfucking kid. Um, I just wanted it to be a middle thing. You want to be a child. Bitch, stop talking about me. I'm going to deal with your mama and leave me the hell alone. Leave me out of it. That's what I got from it. That was, that was a good deal for me. I had to get that out of my chest. I don't like doing this. I don't. I don't. I, YouTube ain't really been fun. It's like people like to get on camera and just be like this and like that. I like to get on and be me. So I just don't want to do that with nobody. You know what I'm saying? I love all my supporters. I love all the people that's, you know, rocking with me. The people who ain't rocking with me, that's cool. Like, it's cool. Like, I'm not, like, pressed. I'm not jealous of nobody. I swear. Like, I'm not. Comments. I have my own life, and I'm so happy, and I'm so at peace. I'm so at peace on where I'm at in my life. I cannot lie. You know what I'm saying? I can't lie. Bro, I'm I'm genuinely happy. I'm genuinely ill. It's like, I don't. It's just this. It's just be headaches, and I be feeling like, he you know, looks I, like I, I have, I'm a man, bro. I got to He looks tired, but, you know. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't like this shit. I don't do this shit. I like to get on videos, make people laugh, make people be inspired, make people be motivated by what I got going on. But when it's about drama, that's the most when people tap in and tune in. I only want to do that shit. I've been dealing with this shit for like two years going on. Behind closed doors, plus on the internet. Like it's just like I can't go no more. And I'm tired. I wanna I'm evolving. I'm trying to evolve. And small you things like just be like kind of trying to pull me back and pull me back and pull me back and knock me down. You are absolutely involved. That's what I want to say, bro. I'm really done, but I had a good time in Muay Thai today. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually heading out to Austin, Texas. All those things. So I see y'all when I see y'all. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, press notification bell. Them niggas will cut off a video. You hear me? Uh, I think he's fine. Um... Nobody's perfect in the situation. He did what he did, and women will be mad for 25 years. The damn son will be an adult like, Ma, God damn, we still talking about the same thing? Don't cuss at me, boy. I'm grown now. <laughs> How long we got to be talking about the same thing? <sighs> but anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Listen, if you're mad at me, comment it. If you don't like me, comment it. If you feel like I'm uh, on King's side, comment it. If you feel like I'm on the side, comment it. Girl, just comment. Uh-huh.